Hello, this is Crote, and welcome back to another exciting episode of ARK Survival Evolved here on Aberration. Uh, if you saw my last video about making the uh, crab taming pen on the back of a pariser, uh, I had some requests for from the guys on official if I could uh, come up with a way to do it for them. Uh, I'm not sure if they will actually be able to do it but I'm going to show you the vanilla equivalent. The main problem is this part right here. Getting the foundation to the bottom. Now I watched a bunch of uh, a bunch of old videos showing how to do it. But I'm not sure they still work. I know Art patched something about this a while back. And uh, so I'm not sure if this will actually still work. But I'm going to do my best. And if you can figure out how to lower the foundations on official, then this may work for you. Where I ran into trouble on Solo was when I got to this point that had the uh, ceiling out and two pillars in it. It would not let me put a third pillar on here. Like, like that. So I don't know if my Solo is set up wrong. Uh, I don't know exactly how official is set up, if it's the same or not. But if you can get that third pillar on and keep going to the bottom, then you might be able to build this on official. And I need to go, I think, one more. There we go. Now we put a ceiling down. Oh, rubber bandy. And then we need to go ceiling out to each side. Actually, I'm going <laughs> to... You're going to see me using the demo gun, which you won't be able to, but I just hate destroying stuff. But I wanted to get up here to do this. Okay, and then you gotta put a foundation on these. And that, there we go, there's a good start. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all this other stuff. All the scaffolding, because uh, we have a on official, the platform limit is 25 structures. So we're gonna keep it under that, actually pretty far under that, I think. Yeah, oh God, I hate the earthquake. Even though I have shaking disabled, so it helps, but it still pushes you around. Unless you're on a dyno. Another foundation. Okay. 
Okay. Now I need gates. Okay, now this is something that I just figured out today, which I didn't know before. When you're placing a dino gate, <laughs> it doesn't actually need to contact the ground. I mean, the foundation. Like on, the, on this right here, I'm going to place this one. Have a little optical illusion there. Yeah, you can actually place this gate here on this single foundation, and uh, at least I think this is how it works. I hope it's not some modded voodoo we got going on. Try to square that up a little. Now, we don't want it all the way out on the end. And, and actually, if you... One thing that I'm concerned about is you might actually be able to only go out two and if that's the case you could do this one up here on a on the second one uh, it would uh, it's a little harder getting getting the crab trapped in there well you know I've trapped them in gate size pins before but I like to go out about here see even though it's not touching anything it's sitting on this foundation in the middle now we just need a gate on each side now I do want to try to put these out a little bit well basically what I'm going for is a two wide or just slightly over two but I want the uh, I do want to keep the crab kind of tight in here and uh, the reason I'm going three wide is because once I put the catapult on top I want to shoot down the middle and the crab can jump out of this which it happens <laughs> I went up over to test it out and it jumped right out so I'm going to have to put ceilings across the top on the sides. Now you might be able to build a 2x2 two two here and have ceilings on one side and shoot down the other side, but I like to center it. can only hit, can't hit over three high. Hold on one sec. Yeah, people always want to come over and <laughs> uh, get stuff. All right, that should be it. Let me uh, get rid of that. up there which I blocked my ramp and then we'll put some ceilings up here about it. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four ceilings. 
and three gates, which makes seven. And then foundations, we got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then the walls, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I guess we're gonna be right at 25. I probably could just do the walls on one side, or the ceilings on one side, but I'm trying to think how did I, I could have swore I did this and had more left over last time, but oh well. And then the, uh, the catapult. Catapult. Something else I learned uh, while building this is that your catapult can actually go way up here. And see, I'd always been trying to get it so close to the edge that I could point this over the over the side, but I realized that it can actually go back. But I took a look at how this thing works, and the boulder goes up there, and this thing swings under there, and that goes that way, and by the time it, it'll chuck the boulder out well beyond the platform itself and actually hit the crab, because I tested it and it works. But let me see, I think I'm going to need some more boulders. There's a 260 crab right outside here that I found. So I'm going to get this all ready to go and I will bring you right back. Okay, we're all set. And we are about to go get us a crab. And I believe this is a 260 right here. Yep. Actually, <laughs> since I was testing on him, he might. Yeah, he's still got some torpor already. But that'll just speed things along. Hope the spinos don't come bug us. Alright, I think we got him. Let's find out. scares me when he goes up high.
move repairs her. down. Now let's kill the piranha. I think I had a bunch of bad shots on that one. Throw the kibble on and come on, Prana, really? Where'd he go? He ran away. And I'll bring you back once he tames up. goes. Let's see, your stats are not bad for a 260. Alright, I moved uh, this guy out of the way because he kept getting attacked by piranhas. Now I'm going to see if I can get him to come home with me. Well, there you have it. Uh, my vanilla-ish taming pen on the back of a Pariser. Why don't you just stop right there, buddy? And that's how we do it. As always, 
please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to share the video with anybody you think can use the information. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.